we're gonna make a quick asparagus salad. A lot of times we'll go to uh, our local uh, grocery store. You'll see asparagus on sale. A lot of us are like, no, hombre, ¿qué es? Arugula? No, it's asparagus. You know, it, it's funny, man, because growing up, a lot of our parents didn't know how to cook, and they would overcook everything, right? So a lot of us grew up with real mushy peas or asparagus or cauliflower or whatever it is. You know, so we we assume that's the way it is, and that's the way it tastes when it's it's not at all. So asparagus... Uh, in my opinion, should be kind of cooked where it's so firm, but so, it's weird, like it's in the middle of the texture. A great asparagus should have texture. This is something that, you know, a lot of us are trying to eat a little healthier, uh, implement something, you know, while we're eating that's not so fatty or it's not tacos, right? So we got here is just asparagus. I have a pan going on that's hot. Um, I have some butter that I used earlier to make bagels with. So I'm gonna use the same butter because it has all that flavor in there. So I'm gonna throw in my asparagus. I see, mira. So, you know, asparagus, it grows from the ground like this, you know, and the, the base is real woodsy. So what happens is that, you know, most places they'll cut off the bottom part and you'll sell it, you know? And if you don't know better, you cook the whole thing and then and you're like, man, why is it so like tough in the bottom? It's because, you know, you left all that part on. You know, usually you shave it off or you just cut, cut you just trim them off and you'll be good. And when the butter's crackling, popping, you know you're doing the right thing. You know, when a pan's hot and ready to go, when you add, when you introduce anything to it, you know, the sound it makes is you're kind of like, okay, the pan's hot, en hot enough. You know, but if you don't hear anything, that pan wasn't hot enough. So all we're doing is we're cooking our asparagus. I see. We're gonna add a little bit of pepper. You know, you have to season everything while you're cooking it. You know, the asparagus as well. So, you know, we basically it with the butter. We add salt and pepper. You know, we're trying to incorporate as much flavor as we can into that asparagus. And then we're going to add a little bit of our handy dandy tahin to add a little bit of the flavor to our, our asparagus. Okay. And asparagus cooks fast, man. We're talking like... The asparagus probably take us maybe like four minutes to cook. You know, we want it to be firm yet soft, you know. Um, yeah, so that's what we're going for. That butter's gonna add a little bit of nuttiness to the asparagus. So now we're doing is we're doing this guy right here. And you just do the good old poke test. The cool thing about this, about this, what I'm doing right here is that let's say like you're having Thanksgiving, you know, Christmas, and you're like, man, I love asparagus. And I want, and this salad is it's good. It's really good when it's cold. I'm doing mine warm, but cold's even better. So what you can do is cook off the way I'm doing it, a lot of asparagus, put it all in your fridge, cool down, and then you can just pile all the asparagus together on top of a plate and do what I'm about to do. And this gonna be the best thing you've had. See, that's all we're doing. So asparagus, uh, in my opinion, should be kind of cooked where it's so firm, but so it's weird, like it's in the middle of the texture, you know, but where you don't want it to be super soft. You, know, you don't want it to be, you know, be real mush. You don't want any of that, you know. A great asparagus should have texture. So my asparagus is done now. Right, so that's what you're looking at. If you notice, you know, it's soft but firm. That's what she said. And so all we're going to do is we're going to get the asparagus and we're going to pile it like this. <gasps> it's okay if it's messy like that. That's what they have it in napkins. A la molo. Okay. And then me being me, I gotta clean, oh, I gotta clean this plate. Okay, okay, so then, okay, so we have our asparagus, right? Looks nice already. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit it with a little bit of lemon juice, and what happens is the, the, acidity, it's gonna, the acidity, it's gonna bring out the flavor of the asparagus, right? So you do a little bit of that, Mita. 
And you can also do like the lemon zest if you want to over it, you know, but that's what I like to do. And then this is my super expensive blended Parmesan cheese that for some reason you don't have to put in the fridge, but this is what I like to put on top of it, all right? So then all we're gonna do, we're gonna get our spoon, right? And then we're gonna go on top of this, like this, mira. Bam. That cheese is like the cheap, the cheapest you can find, but like it's super nutty, the flavor. It's cheap, like it's everything you want, right? Cause it's cheap, it's salty, it's all that good stuff, you know? And I like to add it whenever I can, because you know it's a good finish. It's a good finishing cheese, so it doesn't melt on the plate. You don't have a mess. You have it. It tastes fresh. But like I said, it's gonna add all. It can bring all those other flavors. And whenever you add it to something that has kind of the same tones, it just intensifies that flavor. True story. When I was a kid, I used to eat spoonfuls of this. Now look at me, champion. Okay, you'd be like, oh my god, that's so much expensive cheese. True, but you know what? It's worth it. Then we're going to, you can put nuts on this. I like using these seeds. Certain things need, you know, either nuts or seeds. And this is one of them where it, it felt like, you know, it added texture to it, a uh, little complexity, you know, and the flavor is good as well. We're going to finish off with more pepper on top like this. And that's it. This is something super easy, super quick. Um, and I think that, and like I said, like, this is really good when it's cold and you can make a lot of it at once and you can add more stuff to this. This is what I like though. I like the nuttiness of it. I like the, the texture, uh, the acidity, you know, to me, it's, you know, a complete, a complete side. This is just good, man. And like I said, it's even better when it's cold. So this is good. Like if you're invited to, I don't know, to a party, you know, yeah, there's a quinceanera, you don't want to buy a present. Take them asparagus salad, man. Everyone loves that stuff.